Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm gonna teach you on how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today my subject will be an old cart. So I'm gonna put it in the, beside the road or something like that. Okay, so please don't forget to subscribe. You have to subscribe it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials near the screen. You can see there the five limited colors, the brushes that we get, and all the things we get to paint this uh, painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now, and I'm going to start with the underpainting. So I will fill everything first with the colors, dark colors, or whatever we're gonna need. Uh, we're gonna always do something like this to start a painting, and then uh, we can add the details after that. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna paint the fires today. So I have here the blue and the yellow and the white. So here. I'm gonna put a little misty uh, center of the fires. Put a little yellow and the bit of raw umber and white I'll make this uh, center or on the inside of the forest a little bit lighter there and then a little bit raw umber and then I'm gonna apply it uh, I'm gonna apply darker colors blue, yellow, and the row. I'm going to put more red. And yellow, there. A little bit of the greenish color. Burn the blue there. Another blue and the red. So I just make everything here darker. This is uh, the underpainting first, yellow. It may be a little bit darker blue and the red, or some darker purples. Okay, so this is the first step, everyone. I need to add the underpainting first. Okay, so also remember that uh, this part will be a little bit lighter, a little lighter uh, blue green or something like that. You can also make it uh, much more yellowish. Yeah, maybe yellow, uh, lighter yellow will be good for that. I'm gonna use yellow and the red for the field. So here I'm gonna put the field, maybe more yellow. Brownish, yeah. Then more greenish, red and the blue here. Oh, I'm 
combine the blue here okay so uh, you can you can play with the colors everyone you can play whatever colors you can put there is fine I'm gonna put also some brownish color here yeah so as long as to become dark here to be fine clean your brushes yellow and the white or try to put it here still dry I still wet everyone so I have to let it dry first for at least five minutes and then uh, we can go back adding some more details so let it dry first because it's very important to make it dry and we can we can add more details later on it's pretty easy for us okay okay everyone so I think the paints already dry now and I'm going to start adding the details so I'm very excited everyone so here I'm gonna be make it a little bit lighter because this one will be the horizon and we assume that uh, this part will be a little bit misty on the on the other side or in the on the on the inside of the forest so I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter okay so I will be using now a smaller brush number eight medium size flat brush I have here yellow and white so here I will start adding some more yeah you can add white here yeah I can do like I can start blending now and then I will try to add blue and yellow a little bit yellowish and white just spray the colors blend it well something like this and also add a little bit of a uh, brownish And then a little bit of yellow and white. Just try to spray the paints everyone. And here, let's try to spray more. More lights. Okay, again, I, I will add more, uh, a little bit of blue greens. And now I'm going to add some uh, some leaves or something like that here on the bottom part. So I will add lighter or darker leaves. So blue, yellow, and a little bit of red. Something like that. 
that they can see that uh, there's a lot of leaves there. So let's do the tapping technique. I'm using the bristle flat brush. There, okay. Now on the other side. Okay, there you go. And then I will put now some uh, some uh, trees, everyone. I will be using this uh, raw umber with a little bit of blue there, and then white. I will be using now the number two nylon flat brush. So we have now some trees. So you can now see a lot of trees here. Okay. And I will also put a little bit uh, darker. Okay, so we have now like that. Uh, looks like that uh, there's really a, a big forest uh, behind this uh, this uh, forest, everyone. Okay, so I am going to add more uh, leaves here. Darker or lighter leaves. So I have here the blue and the red to make some a little bit of yellow so uh, you can do a tapping technique Yeah. 
and then I will also put a little bit of a uh, lighter uh, lighter uh, colors or lighter leaves this time I'll be using uh, yellowish Okay. There. Okay, I'm going to use also another light greens. yellowish uh, leaves everyone on the ground something like that just do the tapping technique Yeah. Okay. Can also add some light greens on the on the top. Just tapping technique everyone. Okay, so we have now uh, look like a forest. Yeah, yeah, looking good, everyone. I like uh, how the center something there inside that you can see that uh, this very very bright on the other side. Okay, and now I'm gonna put some big uh, big trees or big tree trunks. Yeah. So 
I think I will put one here, big tree trunk, and then one here, one here, something like that, okay? So I'll be using a bigger brush, or maybe a smaller brush. The number two nylon part brush, this one. Row umber with a little bit of blue. Okay, now we can put the the branches. Again, the same color. Uh, this one here will be a uh, picker. And then you can put the branch here. A little bit of white, and in the other one here, I will put this part. So a little bit different. Oh, 
also the color a little bit different okay looks good need one here okay So we're using the same color everyone and then I'm going to put another one here on the back Also here everyone, so not forget. There. So we have now uh, these trees everyone. Uh, I like it, it looks good. And also here, we should put one big tree here. And then I will try to put some uh, some leaves on this tree. So this one here, I'm gonna try to put something like uh, yellowish or slightly orange leaves. Wait a little bit of blue to make it greenish. just very very simple using the tapping technique Okay, just very very simple everyone and that's that's good already. I'm gonna put more yellow. And then I'm gonna mix for another green, yellow and the blue. With a little bit of red. Okay, you do not need to make it so good that it looks uh, pretty realistic. Just do like that, everyone. It, it will look good on the, on the screen. It's your painting. Okay, and also here, I will try to, mo to make it, uh, to put some darker color leaves. So the same color with the yellow. 
Ah, uh, maybe I will make it uh, darker. Blue and the red. Okay, and it's a bit darker there. And also here, I'll try to make it some parts darker. The light will be from the right side, everyone. This time will be a little bit different. Also here, I'm gonna make it darker. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so you have now uh, Fares. Uh, I'm gonna make it uh, better. I will put a little bit of light there, especially in the yellow leaves. I need to put some. a little bit uh, slowly Just put the the paints on the top of your brush, everyone, to make it solid, and you can create good lights there. There. At least it looks cute. It looks uh, pretty realistic and it's very, very simple. Okay. And also this one here. I'm going to put a little bit of lighter green. Yellow and the blue. Just uh, put a uh, thick paints on the top of your brush and do the tapping technique and always remember that uh, put the put the light on the top of the So, yeah, that's it.
put a lot of uh, things that you can you can see that it looks like a realistic uh, something inside the forest okay that's it that's it everyone now let's uh, put some highlights I want to put some highlights I want to maybe this tree here maybe this tree tree trunk uh, maybe this tree trunk I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter the light is coming from the left side or the right side so this time I'm gonna make the light from the right side I have here the rue umber and the white It's a peeling effect. There. Try a little bit uh, darker. There, and then I'm gonna put some white with a little bit of yellow. there so we have now a realistic looking tree okay so yeah this tree have uh, something that uh, the body was being peeled something like that okay so I'm gonna use this again with a little bit of yellow I'm gonna put it here Also here. And then I'm gonna try purple, blue, and the red, and then white. And I'm gonna put a little bit of lighter bluish here, or lighter purples. purple blue and the red I want it to be a little bit of darker color
isang blue amber there and also here Okay. There you go. So it looks good. So here are a little bit of uh, lighter. I'm going to darken this part. Then some yellow and the red, maybe here. I'll try to have a little bit light here. And then I will also put some few branches there. I don't know, just few people, but a lot of branches. So I have here the blue and the raw amber with a little uh, more water. Hopefully the more branches everyone, it will make it uh, way better. So I just put a lot of branches and uh, it will complete the entire painting everyone because it will, it will look like uh, there's a lot of things there. It's very chaotic. It's just like the nature. Okay, that's good. I like, I think I like the, the fires now and I will now proceed everyone on the bottom part. I will put a pathway there. Yeah, I will put an old pathway. I'm going to... Uh, Sketch first the cart here. It will be a big cart. Like that. So 
here. Maybe I'll try. Yeah, I'll try to put it in the same top part. a square everyone center I'm gonna put the wheel So now I'm gonna fill uh, this card with the uh, underpainting. I'm gonna put the light here, it goes right through here. some light through umber and white okay Maybe a little bit of yellow and the red. white and then this part will be I will fill this part there okay and also here I will fill everything here first And then I will put some darks, blue and the red. I don't know if my perspective is good, but I will just make it uh, here. Okay. 
I don't know. I will try to see. Yeah, I think that will be fine. Wait, I'm going to analyze first. Because uh, it's just from imagination, everyone. I'm not sure if uh, I'm doing good or not. And then uh, this part will be the pathway. Wait, everyone, I'm going to retouch first. Okay. There you go. And also here. I'm gonna make the bottom part dark. So I'm mixing for purple. Right there. This is an. This is a old broken. Uh, they call this old broken uh, cart everyone so uh, we should expect that it's uh, very broken <laughs> yeah some shadows also here something like that okay so I will be using a bigger brush now okay, like this I will retouch first the background I have here the raw umber and the white. Okay, I'm not sure if my position of the card everyone is uh, on the good perspective. I want to change this one a little bit. Maybe I will put it here, but I think this is fine. Yeah. I'll put it here. I will adjust uh, the perspective everyone. I'm not sure. I'll try to see. Yeah, I think this uh, this is, this will be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I think this will be fine. So this is a broken card. So I don't want to overdo my perspective. Uh, I don't want to make this one bad in my uh, composition, I mean. with a feel wish
yeah there you go so i want to play the lights now here i also put one shadow here from the so i'm gonna put first the highlights i have here the yellow and a little bit of green or blue okay. Try some yellow with a little bit of red. So we're just tapping technique, everyone. There. That is uh, much more yellowish. There you go. Uh, yellow and the blue. A little bit of yellow and the blue and the white. I'm gonna put something like an orange everyone So just stopping technique. There. Okay. I'm gonna put some a little bit of lights or white there. here I will try to make this uh, better everyone make it realistic uh, some lights or some uh, parts will be hit by the lights here so we can put the highlights also you can do the tapping technique This highlights with the white. Okay. 
Okay. So you can see now uh, the difference. This part there, the lights. I like the lights here, everyone. It looks pretty good. So yeah, we're just playing everything here. We're just playing the the tone, something like that. Everything here. Uh, we're trying our best to make it as realistic as possible. Okay. Okay. So let's continue. So I will add more shades or casted shadows. So blue, yellow, and a little bit amount of red. put some darker greens so to mix the darker green everyone uh, just use this color I don't see here. I'll make that part dark. Blue and the yellow, something like that. I'll just put something. some grasses on the center of this island one. Okay. Also here. A little bit of darker colors, blue something. There. Okay, you don't. You do not need to make it look so perfect, everyone. Just make it look real. So here it's a let's say touch. There. And in here, let's put some more yellowish stone. Just tapping technique. Put the Thick paint on the tip of your brush, everyone. <laughs> to make it look that it has been hit by a great amount of light, that part. White and... Uh, Let's 
so we can also do like this So here there so all you have to do is just play with it everyone just play the colors everything the lights yeah has very very important <laughs> Uh, so you know how to play with everything there okay I will now put some wait Then I will try to put some lights here. On the pathway, everyone. So I have here the blue, amber, the yellow, and the red, and then white. Yellow and the red. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna make it a little bit more uh, orange.
there. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of darks there. Also a little bit of darks. Okay, and then I'm going to mix for a purple, blue, and a red, and then white. More red and the blue. little bit of purple there okay now uh, let's start adding some highlights on this uh, on this old wooden cart so I'll be using the same brush And then I'm gonna try to use uh, more brown. So this wheel, I can add highlights. This is an old card, everyone. Okay. Then I'm gonna mix for darker color like black. But uh, I'm using I'm not using any black, so I'm using the dark purple, blue and red.
and also here. It's a casted shadow here, everyone. So if you're painting, we will just follow what I'm doing. I'll put some holes here Okay, so I will be using a smaller brush now, this one. Okay. I'll try to retouch and make it better. Okay. 
process of wooden uh, wheel number one. And also here. I put some lights also there. And then darks. the top part I'm gonna make it brighter So I am just retouching now everyone. It's not perfect, but it looks uh, fine. It looks good. Yeah. Now I'm going to put some some grasses here some something that will, it will make it complete. So first I'm, I'm going to put some grass. Uh, greener grass a little bit uh, brownish with a yellow.
there at least you can see that there's a lot of grasses I'm gonna make it uh, greenish Okay, and then you can also put some some plants. and also here So some plants over there. I will use now this bristle flat brush. This one, all another types of plants like uh, greenish plants. and so here Make it as uh, uh, detailed as possible. There. And then I'm going to put a little bit of flowers also, like pink flowers.
another pink flowers. There, I will, I will let you see everything. Yeah, so far it's so good. Yeah, it looks good, everyone. I like the, I like the, the, the details. I like the, yeah, I like the interview. It looks good. It's just so so simple. Okay, I will just try to retouch, and I think I will be finished. So I will have this. it a little bit brighter everyone there I'll just make it a little bit brighter and then also the pathway everyone I'm gonna make it uh, I'm gonna make it uh, detailed Okay, so that's it. I wait a little bit. I'm going to put some more detail here. There, okay. So I think uh, I'm continuing with this one for the tutorial, everyone. So I hope you can also learn a little bit in this this is very very easy uh, landscape with the uh, additional of the cart old cart there so yeah my advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting and keep on enhancing your skills keep on trying new things keep on um, keep on uh, painting something like that keep on uh, keep on uh, experimenting uh, on on doing uh, those objects like the trees, uh, whatever you can see, uh, elements there like the like the leaves or something like that. Keep on practicing because you will learn to practice uh, using your brush. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I want to say thank you for watching this video today, and I hope you get something out of this. 
And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors with palette because I want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.